hi everyone welcome back to my channel so this is what we're gonna paint today and i hope you all stick to the end because i'm also gonna reveal the giveaway winner and to know the whole process please watch the whole video so let's get started Okay guys, so today again I'm gonna draw something very ethnic, traditional Indian art, folk art. So last time we painted Madhubani and uh, Gond art. This time, um, you know, it's not completely pat pat uh, patachitra, but it's more like it because there are very minute details like of tiny elephant and here and there. And the middle, they're gonna be face of uh, um, Jagannath. Lord Jagannath which is also known uh, they are also known as uh, Lord Vishnu so there is a temple in South India uh, which is known as Jagannath Puri so um, this a whole the middle face of the mandala is of Lord Jagannath so the whole painting is gonna be uh, related to Indian ethnic um, folk art which you find in temples and you know uh, sometimes uh, on walls as well like my new details of elephant uh, statues and also something like that it's very much related to uh, that so let's see what we are gonna do I'm making a nice a circle double layer of circles here and I'm just trying to figure out where I will put all the details you know the eyes and the tilak and everything uh, later I will just I'm gonna cover the whole spaces just I'm gonna leave the eyes part where I'll, uh, I'll put red color and white and other than that I'll just completely paint it black don't leave any spaces just the eyes only and the lips part over there that's it and completely cover it in black color i'm using the acrylic colors here and guys whatever uh, the if you want to know more about the material used you can go in my description of this video all the links to different uh, items that i use the supplies that i use it's given down in the description below so now on you can just go and find out in the description uh, below to know about the materials that i have used instead of asking me in comments so just go there and you'll find everything in the description um, below so just make sure whatever color you are putting just uh, keep that color inside the circle only because outside will make the petals like it's a like it's a mandal so like that so we'll make the petals outside so that's why i'm trying my best to keep the black color inside so that is the first and foremost um, thing you need to remember here So as you can see I have painted the eyes outer section red and I'm making this pupil uh, round black they should be round so if you are not you know uh, very much comfortable with painting it with the brush it's better to use a black marker because in that way you'll do much better job than me like the way I did so I'm gonna do this nicely with the pen later on so now whatever part uh, is left outside the petal I'm gonna paint it black but are not the above and the uh, down section because I'm gonna uh, draw some patterns over there like this just only in the middle section paint it black and other than that keep it like that as such only Okay guys, so now I want to give the whole uh, face more details like the tilak and 
loose and all that so I'm gonna use this jelly roll pen you can find the link in the description for this pen and this is where I'm gonna put the tilak like this I'm using the paint marker here you can use you know in, if you don't want to use the yellow color you can use instead of that you can choose a gold uh, paint marker as well because that will also look very nice and because the gold will shine on the black surface and it will look great so keep doing this okay guys so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint the petals so what we're gonna do here is I just want to give it a feel of nice uh, you know like a rose petal or lotus petal which don't which is not completely red or white so when you're taking the red in your paintbrush do uh, dip it into a you know very teeny amount of white take a very teeny amount of white in the end like this and make nice strokes with it so this is what it should look like if you're not comfortable with this just go in and paint go on and paint the whole petal red even that will look very much you know good so it's all, it's your choice okay guys as you can see this is what it looks like now so if you don't uh, want to give it like this kind of shape you can just go and paint it red so now I'm, I'm moving on to the very minute details of the whole painting and that's what I'm gonna draw it is very, you know very nice teeny tiny uh, elephants I'm gonna draw in each of these um, pillars you can say they are like you know small windows of uh, like a like a palace there's like a nice window so like that I have uh, I'm choosing this nice 0 0.05 fine liner to make the outline so that when I'm gonna use the paint outside the elephant then it won't bleed into my color so that's why I'm using fine liners please don't use any other pen they are these are waterproof and so that's why they will not bleed through okay let me finish all of them then I'll show you the end result okay guys so now I have done all the outlining so I'm gonna use this Weber Castle acrylic paint uh, to do the uh, fill the, all the colors outside the elephant I'm not gonna fill any colors inside the elephant just make sure do it with, with a very fine point uh, brush don't use it with the thick brush here because otherwise the details won't be that neat so the rest of the part I'm gonna paint it black it's all about you know red black white these are the contrasts that we are using here in this picture as you can see it's already looking nice but there's a lot of empty space which I don't like and I'm gonna do the end part later but the, um, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here is the outer line I'm gonna just leave a little space like this white and other than that outside I'm gonna fill it with black paint like this okay as you can see I'm using this uniball paint marker to make some nice pattern onto the black uh, blank space over here otherwise it will look very dull so we don't want that so I'm just um, doing this nice diamond shape black not black just white dots here and there just little bit apart from each other don't make it in a line and like this so now as you can see it is uh, the whole painting is a contrast of white red and black so these are the very main um, colors that we are using in the painting so I'm done with the down part also so now I'm gonna give my elephants nice minute details like little uh, lines dots and everything um, uh, here and there so I'm using th these fine liners to do the you know outlines and detailing work so guys please subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and uh, do tell me did you like the video or not and if you did 
प्लीज मेक श्योर टू यू नो शो मी योर आर्ट वर्क वट एवर यू विल गोन ट्राई यू गोन ट्राई दिस प्लीज शेयर योर आर्ट वर्क विद मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम सो दैट आई कैन पुट योर आर्ट वर्क ऑन माई स्टोरी एंड शेयर इट विद अदर्स एज वेल and i'll i'll be so happy to see uh, your artworks so guys so this is what it looks like as you can see it's looking very vibrant and colorful and i'm in love with this picture and i'm going to try more like this in future okay guys so this is the time for revealing the giveaway winner so most there are so many of you participated thanks to everyone those who participated in the giveaway but unfortunately there is only one winner so the winner uh, that was chosen by the app so i made sure that whoever is my winner is my subscriber as well so those uh, who were not the subscriber they were already disqualified so that was the first and foremost um, requirement of the whole uh, giveaway that you need to be a subscriber of mine and you need to follow me on instagram as well so so let's see who won the giveaway uh, so as you can see there were like lots and lots of entries and i am very happy and thankful to everyone those who subscribed and followed me on instagram and uh, those who participated and uh, as i told you i'm going to choose the winner only the one who will follow all the rules so there were some set rules first of all you need to be a subscriber that was a must and you need to follow me on instagram and few others like so some of you participated from philippines us and um, uh, malaysia as well sorry for you guys this was only open for indian residents but no worries let's see who won the giveaway so let's go to the winner section and so the winner is rakshita okay congratulations rakshita i'm going to contact you she is from bengaluru and i think she has a instagram uh, handle that by goes by the name of handmade art and crafts so i have all your details rakshita this is uh, her instagram and youtube pages congratulations to you and thanks to everyone who those who participated and uh, congratulations to the winner so guys please uh, click the subscribe icon if you haven't already and do press the like button if you liked my previous tutorial and uh, thanks to everyone those who watched the video and those who uh, participated i'll come back with a new tutorial next week see you bye bye